Hi guys, arguments must stand or fall on their own merit. So while it can be difficult to listen to someone like Tony Blair with an open mind, considering the lies his government told, which led to the unmitigated disaster that was the war in Iraq and the long-term consequences of that, when he says something right, it's still right. So he warned here in this interview with Sophie Ridge of Sky News against wind vane politics, where politicians just go with the flow or the current popular opinion and not do what's actually right for the country. He also raised a very important point about Brexit when he recounts a chat he had with a member of the public. I just want to read a sentence that uh, really stood out to me in your book. You said, the leader sets out for the people what they need and not simply what they want. Does that sound a bit arrogant? Yeah, which is why I say this is going to sound weird to you, but I honestly think it's really important, this. I mean, I think I, I quote the old Henry Ford thing about, you know, the Ford Motor Company, where he was asked, why don't you give people what they want? And he said, you know, if I ask people what they want, they want faster horses. Um, and, you know, the job of the political leader, I mean, of course, you, you, your job is to do your best for the people and to advance their interests and their prosperity and their well-being, of course. But your job is to lead and not just to follow. You see, so if all you're doing is just, if, if you're trying to work out through opinion polls or looking at social media, what is it they're saying, okay, let me go off and do that. that that's not leadership. I, I guess, you know, some people might be, might be listening to that thinking, you know, what, what you're saying is, you know, oh, the, the people, they don't really understand what they need. I know. Oh, the great leaders, we know what you need. Don't worry, we'll just sort it out for you. Yeah, it's, and so it's, this is something you can probably only say when you're not running for election, mm -hmm. right? I mean... I remember having a conversation with, with someone in the course of the Brexit debate and, you know, I was explaining the single market and, you know, why it was important Britain stayed in the single market and, you know, he, he sort of said to me after a time, look, you're just this typical elite, elite you're just trying to say yeah, that you know more like about it than I know. This is it, it doesn't, yeah, it you sounds... know what I said to him? I said, I do know more because I've been Prime Minister for 10 years, so actually, I'm in the deep, it doesn't make me smarter than you, it doesn't make me better than you. But you've got to get the relationship right between political leaders and the public today. So well said. I have been saying this for so long. I keep saying there shouldn't have been a referendum when it came to Brexit. The public were not informed. The public had this responsibility thrust upon them to make a decision that they were not informed about, they couldn't have understood, but would have long -term a long-term impact on society and on Britain and the UK as a whole. But they were not informed. This was, once again, politicians offloading responsibility onto people who couldn't have made an informed decision. They were being told by Brexiteers that, don't worry, the UK will remain part of the single market. Don't worry, we will be like Switzerland. Don't worry, we will be like Norway. Don't worry, nothing will change. Or everything will change, it will be all really positive. So of course the public who have a hundred other things to do in their daily lives, could not make an informed decision. Politicians, back in the day, back in 2015, 2016, were paid, I don't know, 60, 70,000 pounds a year. They were paid the big bucks to make those difficult decisions. They're surrounded by experts that they can rely on to get informed on what decisions to make. The general public were not so when Tony Blair said, actually, I know what I'm talking about, he was correct. Maybe it sounds arrogant, but it's true. He was involved in Europe. He met with European leaders. He met with the, uh, the European Commission. He sent people to Brussels as prime minister. So he knew what he was talking about. He knew the impact of leaving the European Union. All of it? No, of course not. Nobody could have understood the full impact. But he knew it was a bad idea. And he was being challenged by members of the public who had no idea but were expected to vote on something they didn't understand. Now, the other point that he raised here, which is also very important, is this wind vane politics. Now, back in the day, you know, people like Blair and others had to deal with right wing media. Okay, we have to sell our message to the public and it's going to be filtered through right wing media. But now it's much more difficult. You have the right-wing media, but you also have social media. And it's very difficult for a new prime minister to sell an idea because we hope, generally as politicians, we hope politicians will sell ideas that are good, good for the public. And a good idea should sell itself. But unfortunately, with right-wing media attacking and, of course, social media 
spinning things in a very negative way, manipulating the public. It's much more difficult. And I think we're going to see for the foreseeable future, politicians rely on focus groups, politicians rely on public opinion, politicians rely on what's popular at the moment, and will try and sell that. It's not leadership. It's the opposite of leadership. And it's extremely concerning. But I think we're, going to, we're, in, we're stuck in this era where politicians are afraid to make difficult decisions because they fear that it's, they're, they're going to lose support. While a true leader, of course, would say, this is what we should do and sell it to the public and to hell with the consequences. But we don't live in those times anymore. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.